Hi, I'm Christina Vega from Casa Vega Restaurant, and today we partnered with Laura's Lean to bring you some healthy Mexican comfort food, and we're gonna be showcasing ground beef enchiladas and deconstructed ground beef tamales. We're gonna start off with the ground beef enchiladas with a green sauce. And the reason why we chose this green sauce today is because it's super healthy. Most ingredients are all vegetables and it's very easy to make. And we've partnered with Laura's ground beef because it's reliable and you always know the quality you're gonna get at the grocery store and it's lean. I like to feed my kids lean proteins. In a deep pan, add the water, we'll throw in our tomatillos, some onion, cilantro, a little bit of salt and a teaspoon of garlic. We're gonna bring that to a boil for five minutes approximately. Once it's ready, remove from the heat, let cool for additional about five minutes or so. We're gonna pour everything into a blender and we're gonna blend well and that will give you a nice creamy sauce. Now we'll go ahead and we'll go to our skillet. We'll add a little bit of oil, our onions, garlic, and we'll saute it for a couple minutes. Then we'll add our ground beef and we'll bring it to a nice brown. Once that's ready, we'll remove it from the heat. We'll grab some of our corn tortillas. And I, just a little trick, I like to heat the tortillas in a little bit of oil to make them pliable. Once you have that ready, we'll put the tortilla on the plate. Put a handful of the ground beef down the center, and then we're gonna top it with a little bit of cheese. See, when we're being healthy, we can still be fun and festive with adding a little bit of cheese. And then we'll roll it like a taquito. You bring the left side flap over, of the tortilla over the beef and then you tuck it in and roll it. And then the important thing about enchiladas is you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's seam side down. So we'll place the seam down of the tortilla and then we'll go ahead and we'll make another one. Now that we have both of them rolled, we'll put them snug together and we'll pour the sauce all over it. And you can put as much sauce as to your liking. I personally like to cover it in the sauce. And we'll top it in a little bit of cheese and then you can put it in the oven at 350 degrees or under the broiler or wherever you can melt the cheese for a couple minutes. Once the cheese is melted, it's all ready to go. This is one of my favorite dishes that I especially love to feed to my family because my boys love ground beef and anything. So I traditionally don't make enchiladas with ground beef, but for my kids, I find that this is a perfect hybrid of pleasing them and getting a little healthy sauce in it is at the same time. It pleases everybody. The deconstructed tamale is a fun version of a normal tamale and I find that it's much more kid friendly because the kids can actually see what normally goes inside a tamale. So first we're gonna preheat our oven to 325 degrees and you can grease a small baking sheet that we're gonna spread the masa on. In a food processor, we're gonna make our own homemade masa. To do this, we're going to grind the corn, we're gonna add our sugar, flour, cornmeal, butter, and a little bit of baking powder. So simple. Once it's ground and smooth, spread the paste on the prepared baking sheet. For large groups, spread it on the sheet, and then you can cut the pieces into smaller bits of masa. If you're only having two to four people, you can also mold the masa into little patties. You bake it in the oven for about 325 degrees until it's cooked all the way through, about 20 minutes. And we'll take it out, let it cool, and you can cut off portions of the masa. Meanwhile, in a medium bowl of water, you're gonna to wanna to soak the corn husk for about 20 minutes just to make sure they're pliable and easy to work with. On the plate, you'll have the corn husk, the masa patty, then you'll layer the ground beef. On top of the ground beef, you'll add the pico de gallo. Then you can go ahead and top it with some guacamole, some chopped cilantro, cotilla cheese, or however you like. I love these recipes. They're healthy and wonderful and a great way to bring the family together.